Welcome to Aspect History, and today we're talking about one of the most famously mad emperors from ancient Rome. This is a countdown of 26 bonkers rumors and stories about the emperor we know as Caligula. Just a quick background before we start. This is Caligula, emperor of Rome from 37 AD to his death in 41 AD. Most of the ridiculous things we're about to mention in this video are from documented historical sources. Many are half-truth propaganda and others straight-up fiction. Just a pre-warning here to take all of these with a pinch of salt and check out our sources in the description. Let's count them down. 26. Caligula once caused a bread crisis because he was obsessed with selling things. According to Suetonius, Caligula sold the estates of his two sisters and all manner of highly valuable imperial items in private auctions. Transporting the sheer mass of goods required seizure of private vessels to carry them. A lot less grain got to Rome as a result. 25. One day, on a dry spell for criminals to execute in a gladiatorial show, Caligula ordered an entire section of the crowd be given to the wild beasts for entertainment. 24. Caligula was addicted to gold. His attachment to selling things was seemingly to feed an endless lust for money. He loved gold so much it is said that he would pour coins over the floor and walk over them barefoot. Caligula would cover his whole body in gold, bathing and wallowing for hours. 23. Caligula once fought a gladiator with wooden swords, decided to stab him to death with a concealed dagger, and then marched around flailing a palm branch signifying victory. 22. He invited spectators to witness the blessing of a new bridge, then tipped them all into the water to drown, ordering his men to strike off survivors clinging to his ship. 21. Caligula had a pricey appetite for food. It was controversial, even at the time. To make his party seem as exuberant and wealthy as possible, he took a page from Cleopatra's book, to be obviously incredibly wasteful with money. Like Cleopatra, Caligula is said to have dissolved valuable pearls and vinegar to drink, Food would have been laid out to guests and smothered in layers of gold leaf. It is said that entirely new unique dishes would be invented for the feast. 20. Caligula made sure new regulations were written in tiny letters and hung in hard to see places so that he could punish people who didn't know to follow them. 19. He drew back the canopies of the arena on hot days and then forbade anyone from leaving. 18. Caligula built his favorite horse a marble house with exuberant luxuries like silk blankets and ivory stalls. He drank wine in his horse's name at banquets, often with his horse present in the dining room, and ordered it to be fed with gold flakes in its oats. 17. He commissioned a golden statue of himself inside a temple dedicated to himself to make himself a god. Suetonius notes that the statue was life-size and redressed into whatever the emperor is wearing each day. Wealthy Romans were highly encouraged to give exotic offerings and sacrifices to the statue, including flamingos and peacocks. The statue was originally meant to be a statue of Zeus, taken from Greece, its face replaced with that of Caligula, but logistical issues arose. 16. He took the equipment away from elderly fighters and then pit them in battle against terrible predatory animals. 15. One story tells of him turning last second with a mallet during a sacrifice to kill the priest administering the sacrifice instead. 14. In one of Caligula's famous auctions, Praetor Antonius Saturnius accidentally paid the high price of 9 million sesterces for 13 gladiators. Caligula kept telling the auctioneer not to ignore the apparent bidding of this Praetor, who had fallen asleep and was repeatedly nodding his head. 13. Caligula often shut the granaries just to starve people. 12. He placed gift vouchers on random seats of the amphitheaters to cause mayhem when common peasants were found invading the seats of seasoned soldiers. 11. As part of him presenting himself as a god, Caligula convinced everyone to call him Jupiter and privately liaised with the Roman gods. On full moons or nights where the moon was especially bright, he would entice the moon goddess to his bed for some private lovemaking. Caligula would sometimes lose his temper, go off on tirades alone, and then threaten the god Jupiter with a beating ordering Jupiter to raise him up to the heavens. 10. Caligula favored executions taking the form of many small cuts rather than a single merciful stroke. Two common phrases he apparently used were, let him feel like he is dying, and let them hate me so long as they fear me. 9. 
He often considered torturing his fourth wife to find out why he was so in love with her. 8. He spent large amounts of money to build a colossal pontoon bridge across a bay in Naples to prove wrong an astrologer named Thrasyllus. Before he died, Thrasyllus predicted that Caligula would only become emperor after riding his horse across the Gulf of Baie. This was what the bridge covered. Despite already being emperor at this stage, and the gesture being pointless to the dead Thrasyllus, Caligula got on his horse wearing Alexander the Great's breastplate and rode across the bay. 7. Once at a dinner party, he erupted randomly into a fit of laughter. His guests asked him what it was that had amused him, and he responded, I just had a thought that I only have to give the word for all of you to have your throats cut. 6. Caligula's actual name was Gaius, Caligula being a nickname given to him as a child. The story goes that his father used to take him to battlefields, dressed in a child-sized soldier uniform. Caligula means little boots or tiny booties. He hated his nickname. 5. He stood beside a statue of Jupiter and asked the tragic actor Apelles to state which of the two of them were greater. He had Apelles laugh harshly when the actor hesitated. Caligula complimented the melodic, almost musical sound of the man's groans for mercy. 4. Caligula practiced singing, dancing, and performing at large events to a ludicrous degree. On one night out of the blue, he called three consular rank senators to the imperial palace. When they got there, understandably brimming with terror, they were taken to an impromptu stage in one of the palace rooms. Caligula danced in nothing but a tunic for them for a few hours, then left them there without an explanation. 3. During parties, Caligula would choose a guest to take to his bedchamber. This was often a wife of one of the present statesmen at the party. After returning, he would provide a highly detailed review of that guest's lovemaking abilities to all the other guests present, including the husbands. 2. He was forced to abandon a military campaign to Britain due to a stormy sea, so he declared himself against the sea god Neptune. He ordered his men to collect seashells, to fill their helmets and clothing with them, referring to the shells as plunder from the ocean. When Neptune didn't respond against him, Caligula declared a great victory. 1. Caligula tried to turn his favorite horse, named Incitatus, into a Roman consul. Cassius Dio also writes that Caligula appointed his horse to a priesthood. The emperor decreed that his horse would welcome dignitaries to feasts and fineries. Hey, Steel Sash here with some exciting news. I've written a book. Well, a novella, really. An alternative history where the Roman Empire gains access to a miraculous substance that allows them to explore the stars. Rose Nexus is available now on Amazon, or for free on Kindle Unlimited. Please check it out, and thank you for your support. Toodles!